Uh, I'm Mikey Taylor, and this is Active's Ask the Pros, and I'll be answering your questions. Okay. All right, Cole Renaud asks, when was the point you realized that skating was more and it could be your career? It actually took a while. I was probably already sponsored, but when I was younger, it was before. It wasn't like it is now. Like pros, you were maybe making a thousand bucks a month and you were killing it. So it's like, it couldn't really be a career, but it was like a, it was like minimum wage kind of. It was just, it was different. But I think when I was about 19 or 20, probably when I turned pro, uh, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go for it, I guess. Like now kids like start skating to be like a famous pro skater. Back then it was just, I don't want to work, I want to keep skating, so that's what we did. All right, so this is from Drew Munez. What is your favorite part in a skate video and who influences you the most with your skating? Probably Costin's mouse part. And probably because when I was a kid, mouse was the first video I ever got and like I didn't know what was what back then. I didn't know what they were doing, but there's something about Costin that like I knew it was awesome and I knew it was good. I just didn't know why. And I watched that video probably three times a day for like two years. It was the only video on my cycle. And uh, then it was like, you know, a couple years have gone by and I started learning about skating. And then I was like, oh, like these dudes are doing everything Switch. Like when I first watched it, like I didn't really know like about Switch. So that was probably the biggest like probably influence on my skating. This is from Odo Wahlberg. You are truly one of the most inspirational skaters in the game. Well, at least to me you are. What keeps you so happy and motivating all the time? I believe that's the key to being a proper skateboarder. Thank you. For me, like there was a point where I kind of got caught up like complaining about everything. I guess that's kind of the way of skate the skate industry. You just always are mad and complaining. and. Like there was, I can't remember in particular what situation it was, but I remember it kind of sucked and like I started complaining about it and it kind of just like hit me like, complaining about a situation isn't fixing or helping, it's just like making it worse. It is just hard to be happy all the time, it really is. It's kind of like you have to like really work at like being considerate and nice, but you hit a point where it's like, dude, everything's better and like even like shitty situations are like not as bad anymore. And it's just like, you enjoy life more. So I don't know, for me, it's just like, I just decided I didn't want to be like pissed off. And then now I just, because of it, it's like actually more fun to do anything. This one's not going to be my favorite, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> From Danny Scanzoni. Your skateboard part was awesome. And I really liked everything you did up to that point. But frankly, my question is in 2012, how are you still pro friendly in workshop? <laughs> Shit, I don't know, dog.